Developing news, and it's great news. Maki the lemur stolen from the San Francisco Zoo has been found safe. Yes, ABC 7 News reporter Kate Larson is live in the newsroom with where he was found. Kate. Well, Amadan, not only was he found, but he was actually found by children at his school tonight. Everyone is elated. The zoo, our newsroom, all of you who I've been hearing from on social media. Right now, Maki is with veterinarians back at the San Francisco Zoo, getting a much needed checkup and hopefully some rest. The parents were calling and saying, this is a lemur out on the playground. That was not how Miss Sarah thought she would end her day at Hope Lutheran Day School in Daly City. The San Francisco Zoo's missing lemur, Maki, was out on the yard. He was hopping around the, the play structures, but ultimately, while he was waiting to be picked up, was hiding in one of the plastic playhouses. It's exciting! According to his parents, it was five-year-old San Francisco resident James Trin who spotted Maki first when his mom picked him up from school. What did the lemur look like? A lemur. Gray, black, and white. I like the way they look. And James knew exactly what to do with a wild animal on the loose. Oh, the zookeeper! And so it was. Animal Care and Control and Daly City Police showed up and safely took Maki into custody. There's a lot going on in the world right now, so uh, it was good to just have, a, have, have some good news uh, tonight, at least. Maki was discovered missing on Wednesday morning from the zoo's Littman family lemur forest. San Francisco police opened a burglary investigation when they discovered evidence of forced entry and damage to the enclosure. We do not think he escaped. We think he was taken from the zoo, but we have yet to have confirmation on either of those. Ed Poole is chair of the San Francisco Zoological Board. He says because of Maki's old age, he's 21, and the traumatic experience he's endured, there is some concern about Maki's health and condition. We certainly absolutely hope for the best for Maki. We are all rooting for Maki, and it also turns out that little James is a total animal lover. In fact, he told me that he would like to feed Maki and the lemurs, and he doesn't know this yet. I'm sure he's asleep right now, hopefully, but Ed Poole with the zoo board, who you just heard from, promised me that James will get a lifetime membership to the San Francisco Zoo, and if it's COVID safe, he will have a chance to get up close and personal with those lemurs and give them some treats. So much more, guys, to come on this story. And, of course, as soon as we have an update on Maki's condition and the investigation, we'll let everyone know. In the newsroom, though, that's the latest. I'm Kate Larson. Back to you. Yeah, Kate, we certainly hope Maki is okay. And I love James. Kate, a lemur <laughs> looks like a lemur. <laughs> I know. Duh. Come on, Kate. Get with it. <laughs> He's a doll. Yeah.